your host, Nova, and we're here at AMC's Interview with the Vampire Season 2 premiere in New York City. So in the trailer, it says that memory is a monster. We know how vampires feel about that, but how do you feel about that as a real-life person? Would you agree? <laughs> uh, yeah, I would agree. I would agree. Well, just because, like, I feel like it's the most traumatic things that, like, come back jolly carpet chat. <laughs> like, but yeah, no, I, I feel like, uh, and this was just like silly things that you feel embarrassed about. Like they always seem to be the things that like come back to get you. <laughs> I get what you're saying. I'm here with you. Memory is the monster for sure. Yeah. Got it, got it. Well, I would love to know what would be your superpower if you were a vampire, and then also if you could live forever, would you say yes to that? Um, I wouldn't say yes to immortality. No. It just it's like you'd miss everyone. I'd miss my family. I'd miss my friends. I'd, okay. it, like, it would be too overwhelming. I actually, I just said something different to my suit, what my vampire suit, but I, would, I think I'd go for speed. Because I'm always late. So it would like... Piggyback on the other one. So if all yeah. your family members, everybody was alive and all your friends, would you then choose to be? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Immortal party. Yeah, if all of us were, were in, then I'm in. Let's, yeah, let's do it. So I see we're getting into the fashion, the glamour. So who's your fashion muse? And is it at all related to the season? My fashion fashion muse is Santiago um, <laughs> in the interview with the vampire. His outfits are spectacular. Shout out Carol. Carol, it's amazing. So in the trailer, it says that memory is a monster. I'm curious. We know how vampires feel now, but how do you feel? Would you agree with that? Yes, I would. Because different people have different perspectives on events and only their perspective really gets told um yeah and if you could choose a super trait like something some sort of alter ego that you could have as a vampire what would it be say that again sorry what, 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 what would you choose as an alter ego as a vampire like what would be your superpower what would be like a super trait of yours oh uh that's a good question i feel like my i would i would love flying oh, okay. yeah i was gonna say mind reading but actually I'd love to fly. If I could fly the speed of a plane, I'd, I'd travel the world. And we're getting deep now. I want to know, would you like to be able to live forever? No, absolutely not. No. No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> and what do you hope the audience members take away from season two? I hope audience members are happy to see Claudia's full arc, her full story being told. And yeah, season two is very, very crazy, very hectic, but very, very exciting. And yeah, I look forward to you guys watching it. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. How are you doing this evening? Good, thank you. Yeah. So first off, in the trailer, it says that memory is a monster. Yeah. I would love to know. We know how vampires feel, but how do you feel about that? Do you agree? A hundred percent. Oh, you mean like in real life? Yeah, is memory a... I think, yeah, it's unfortunate that we can't always remember things exactly the way that they happened and that, that we often kind of um, have differing opinions about what happened on specific events. I mean, there's a lot of things in history where memory has become the monster. But specific to our show, memory is the monster. Yeah, uh, yeah, they're all monsters, but, you know, like, yeah. Uh, so in regards to immortality, would you choose to live forever if you could, and why? No. No, why? No. Uh, we're not supposed to live forever. Yeah, you'd go crazy. Also, like, leave space for new people to come in. Like, you know, new blood needs to come into the world and change the world. And, you know, if, if, if everyone lives forever, then nothing will change. Yeah. Thank you so much. How are you doing this evening? Good, how are you? Good. So I would love to know, in the trailer, it says that memory is a monster. We know how vampires feel about it, but you as a real-life person, would you agree with that? Yes, no, and why? Um... Would I agree that memory is a monster? I think I would. Um, I think memory is terrifying mm -hmm. because there's a lot of things that we uh, like to suppress. Um, but actually, it's the it's the it's that it's that monster inside the closet that once you open and see, it's actually harmless. Okay. I like the Babadook. I don't know why I thought about the Babadook there. For so it, yeah. Well, if you had the choice and somebody could allow you to live for the rest, like forever, immortality, would you choose that? Um, no. 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 Uh, I think I would mess it up. I think I wouldn't do it very well. I think I, think I would, yeah. I think uh, I'm prone to uh, be silly, and the less opportunities I have to be silly, then the better. So. Oh, <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank and you. Congratulations. We look forward to watching it.
Thanks so much. Thank oh, the trailer says, like I mentioned to him, that memory is a monster. Yes. We know how vampires feel. How do you feel as a person? A memory's a monster? Oh, 110% for sure. Um, I don't remember everything. I wish I did. I wish I had the superpower of remembering everything. Like, yeah, for sure, that you remember every little detail and that you overhear stuff and you can remember it like that. Do you feel like that would be more traumatizing, though? Yeah, most likely, yes. <laughs> but, you know, it's not my number one superpower, but it's in my top five. Just like, you know, when people come up to you and they're like, hey, great to see you, and you're like, um, um, uh, and then you just remember, oh, hi, David, how are you? How's your wife? It's, so, yes, it helps. Well, what do you hope that the vampires get out of therapy and out of talking in? Do you hope that they find some healing with that? Or? Of course. I think everyone needs some sort of type of healing, absolutely, for sure. So I'm, I'm a big advocate, advocate for that. You, you have the choice to choose immortality for the rest of, rest of eternal life. Would you choose that? And yes or why not? No, I don't think I would. No, I, I think, you know, we're here on this planet for a certain amount of time, and I'm good with it. And then, you know, because... You'd want to be around everyone else that you love. If everyone got immortality, yeah, that's that. interesting. Yeah, that's my follow-up question. But then you might get bored of everyone. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I like being alone. What can I say? <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. So my first question in the trailer, it says that memory is a monster. Would you say that as a human, not as a vampire or as a journalist? Would you agree with that? In my life, yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Uh, because I've had things happen that were like the stuff that happens to Daniel and were so bad that I actually forgot about them, just like Daniel. And they, uh, they affected the way I lived. They affect the way I inter in interacted with the too serious. Am I being too serious? Go for it. We love it. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you know, sometimes things happen and you don't even realize how heavy they were. And then years later, it's like, oh, that's why I did that. That's why I'm that person. So yeah, memory, I mean, really, uh, there's only two things you need to know in memory. It's like, what has happened and where are you right now? And with those two pieces of information, that's who you are. And if you don't know what happened, then you can't know who you are. Very uh, true. So I would love to know, what is a question that you would ask a vampire? What would I ask a vampire? How do I become a vampire? Oh, okay. So why would you like to become a vampire? I want to live together, and I think uh, sucking blood is really sexy, and I, it sort of adds a, a new level to your sex life. So, um, yeah, I would, I would be down. Vampire faces, too. <laughs> <laughs> and then overall, what do, you <laughs> what do you hope that audience members take away from season two versus season one? What, what can we expect? Um, it's, it's, it's a thrill ride. There's a, there's a lot of different levels to the show. I think if... The, the most that will happen to people who watch the show is they're going to want to watch it again because there's so many things going on and the acting is so great. The Theater of Vampires, which I have nothing to do with, is a whole world in itself. It's fantastic. And, um, but it's, it's full of surprises. I think one of the things that makes a show good, and I believe our show is good, is that you don't know what's going to come. You don't know what's happening. You keep getting surprised over and over again. And we are... Full of all kinds of surprises this year. Thank yeah. you so much. Looking thank forward you. to it. Thanks. Thank so how are you doing this evening? Good, thank you. Thanks. So I would love to ask, in the trailer, it said that memory is a monster. Uh, would you say that you agree with that? Um, yeah, it can be. Yeah. It diff I mean, because you sort of start changing memories, I guess, with time. And, and if you're a vampire and you live for that long, I bet memory could really be a monster. Yeah, right. Being that we have a lot of therapy involved with the vampires, uh, uh, what do you hope that they actually get out of that therapy? I'm curious. Um, I mean, it's complicated, right? But uh, I hope that they, you know, find the peace of mind finally. Yes, peace with themselves. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. How are you both doing this evening? Fabulous, lovely. Happy. Okay. Very happy to be here. Really happy for people to see yes. the first episode. And we're very excited to see it. So I would love to know, in the trailer, it says that memory is a monster. So now in your personal lives, would you agree with that? We understand vampire-wise, but personal yeah. lives. He's got a lot of regrets. Yeah, yeah. Okay, why? Why? Still, working, still working that stuff out. 51, trying to get, by the time I'm like 68, all clean, all clear. Um, yeah, you know, you know, I was a 20-year-old man in America. S decade of horrible decisions. 30s, climbing towards, but, you know, 44, maybe it was starting to get there. Still... Still a lot of problems and still, um, yeah, still more. I've been, no, my memory's fine. <laughs> we 
love it. Well, being that it is based on the novel, I would love to know what is one point of the novel that you definitely want to get across in the series? What is something that really stuck out to you that you said, we need to have this? Well, there was, I, I, me for me, it's not, it's actually just a small bit of prose that was incredible, that, that I just found so luminous and so beautiful. And we get it into episode four in a very sort of sly way. Um, but it's about vampire existence and, um, and yeah, I was we worked our ass off to get that in. I tried to get it in season one, tried to squeeze it in a bit. I put it in 9,000 different uh, um, uh, characters' uh, mouths, and it ended up in Santiago's mouth of all those things. So yeah. I think for me, honestly, compassion. I just think that, that everybody trying to find a place to fit in, and at some point, nobody will accept them, and then... It's all looking for acceptance. It's looking for somebody to extend them to. I, I'm very corny. He's very, uh, he's much more clever than I. But well, speaking of traits, is there a specific alter ego that you would both have as a vampire that you would love to have? Kind of like a superpower, or some sort of super trait that you wish you could have. So easy. I'd never want to be sick. But I don't want to. I don't want a common cold for a second of my <laughs> life. That's it. If you could say I would never be sick, I'll deal with the rest of what the world is. Don't want it. You know. I, but it depends. Am I a vampire? Am I sucking blood because I need it for my nourishment, or do I want to punish people? Because I've got different. I got different lists for both uh, both groups. Like good angel, bad angel. That's it. Exactly. He's a uh, he's a mysterious man, Mark Johnson. He's yeah, filled with filled with uh, yeah. Uh huh. Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you guys.